The school I'm choosing um, is the best, best fit for me um, academically, athletically. There was no shortage of scholarship offers for seven-time state champion Chad Zallo in high school. And in November of 2014, with four hats in front of him, the Warren JFK senior made his choice. I'm going to continue my education at Youngstown State. Zallo chose the Penguins over three big-time Big Ten programs, thanks in large part to a conversation he had with one of the country's top recruiters. Uh, I actually talked to uh, Jim Tressel when I was on campus, and uh, it just clicked that uh, this is the place I want to be, and it just showed me how much they really cared. I do remember the first time I met with Chad Zallo. It really wasn't a recruiting meeting. We happened to, you know, talk about things we both liked, which was education, hurdling, family. Uh, and then when he committed to come here, I said, wow, that's a great one. Over the next four years, Zala would become one of the most decorated athletes in school history. He's a five-time All-American and 14-time Horizon League champion with three school records that may never be broken. All those goals are goals I had, and I feel like if you want to see it as an athlete, you kind of have, have to have those big goals. So, you know, I'm always a big, big uh, dreamer, and uh, you know, I definitely put in the work to do that as well. But true champions are made when no one's watching. So, you know, when the lights aren't on, nobody's watching. I'm, I'm putting in a lot of work, and you know, uh, my biggest thing is, you know, I, I could lose off somebody being more talented than me, but I hate to lose by someone just outworking me. So, you know, I, I try to be one of the hardest workers in the room, and I, I've definitely been doing that throughout the last four years here. Head coach Brian Gorby calls him the engine of the program. And while most coaches are reluctant to rank their athletes, Gorby says the numbers don't lie. In, in our world, uh, again, pretty much times, results, they rule. Again, we don't have no subjectivity. It's all based on objective stuff, and that's the great thing about it. So those, those uh, results, again, speak louder than anything I could say. He's the greatest of all time. He is the best we've ever had. They come few and far between. Uh, you know, he's a once in a generation uh, hurdler in my mind. So if he is the GOAT, the greatest of all time, does Zalo deserve some kind of statue, <laughs> right? <laughs> and while the idea gets a humble laugh from the man himself, it's not as far-fetched of a notion when it comes to the university president. You know, I think, I think if Chad reaches his goal of competing in the Olympics, which he sets lofty goals, if we get a guy competing in the Olympics, I'll buy the statue.